Ever pondered over the importance of well water safety? It's a crucial factor that often goes unnoticed. Ensuring your well water is safe is paramount to the health of those who consume it. One effective way to sanitize your well and keep it bacteria-free is through a process known as shocking. Today, we're going to walk through the detailed steps of how to shock a well. This is a simple yet critical process that you can carry out to ensure the safety of your well water. Step 1. Gather your materials. You'll need household bleach, a funnel, a garden hose, and protective gear including gloves and safety glasses. Step 2. Turn off the power to your well pump. Safety is always a priority. Step 3. Remove the well cap. This might require a wrench or other tools depending on your specific well design. Step 4. Now it's time to add the bleach. Use the funnel to pour bleach directly into the well. The amount of bleach you'll need depends on the well's depth and diameter. A general rule of thumb is to use one gallon of bleach for every 15 feet of water in the well. Step 5. Connect your garden hose to a nearby faucet and place the other end directly into the well. Turn the water on, allowing it to circulate the bleach solution throughout the well. Run this for about 30 minutes. Step 6. Go to each faucet in your home and run the water until you can smell bleach. Don't forget about showers, washing machines and faucets outside. Step 7. Once you've ensured bleach has reached all parts of your system, turn off the faucets and let the bleach solution sit in the well and plumbing for at least 12 hours. This gives it enough time to kill any bacteria. Step 8. After 12 hours, it's time to flush the system. Turn on all faucets, both indoor and outdoor, until you can no longer smell bleach. Avoid draining the chlorinated water into your septic system as it can kill the beneficial bacteria. To summarize, shocking a well involves gathering your materials, turning off the power to your well pump, removing the well cap, adding bleach, circulating the bleach solution with a garden hose, running water until you smell bleach at each faucet, letting the bleach solution sit for at least 12 hours, and then thoroughly flushing the system. Remember, well water safety is not just about the water you drink, but also the water you use for cooking, bathing, and cleaning. By following these steps, you can rest assured that your well water is safe and free from harmful bacteria.